Mount 731 Woolworks. Today I'm gonna to build a very simple, uh, cheap, and fast, fast to build tool cart. Uh, based on this design that I use on my end tables, pocket hole and uh, two before is all I'm gonna use. I needed something that I can make quick because I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands. Maybe you don't either. So what's the tool cart for? Let me show you. So I need something to store that beast on. 92 pounds is hard to pick up and put down, pick up and put down every time you get ready to use it. So what I've got is a piece of uh, OSB that I've, I just put a new tabletop down. OSB, some people call it wafer board. I call it OSB or a particle board. It's not really particle board. Particle board is more of a fine uh, pressed board. This is uh, basically wood chips glued together. It's pretty strong, makes a great tabletop or assembly uh, bench. So what I'm gonna do is use this off cut at this exact size, I've, this is the size I've got, so I'm gonna use that in some two by fours. Let's get started. First thing I gotta do is cut my two by fours to length. I'm gonna cut my four legs, and then also my aprons for the top as well as the bottom. Just cutting those out of common two by fours. For a complete cut list, check the description down below, and I'll have a link to my blog where I'll have the uh, cut list to this project. Next thing I did was go to the table saw, and for my bottom aprons, I'm just gonna use two by two, so I'm actually ripping the two by four in half, which gives me an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Next, I'm drilling pocket holes in both ends of the aprons for the top as well as the bottom. If you don't have a pocket hole jig, I recommend this K5. I'll put a link in the description to it. If you wanna spend less money than this, this one's about 130. Uh, the Craig R3 is a good option for about $40. Now the two befores are cut out and pocket holes are drilled, it's time for assembly. I start by assembling the legs with one apron. You can see I'm just, once that's complete, I'm gonna uh, do the other side the exact same way. Just using a fa the Craig face clamp to keep everything flush. And then a 36 inch clamp to hold everything tight while I drive those two and a half inch Craig screws. Once those two sides are together, we're just gonna uh, use the other aprons on each end. Attach those the exact same way and create screws. Now I'm preparing to put the bottom aprons on. I measured down two inches. If I was doing this again, I would measure down an inch and a half from the bottom of the feet to the bottom of the apron. Uh, that way, when I get ready to put my casters on later, I had to actually shim it up one inch and you'll see what I'm talking about when we do that. But this is the same thing, we're just using glue and Craig screws. Uh, just a 36 inch urban clamp there to hold everything tight while I get those Craig screws in. I did put the Craig screws on the bottom. Next thing we're doing is putting the, just a little bit of bracing here. Since I am putting a, a 92 pound planer on top, I wanted a little extra bracing. So those are just 19 inches wide, two by fours, Craig screwed in. Now it's time to assemble the top. What I did was uh, I've left a one inch overhang all the way around and I just put uh, pre-drilled and countersunk screws. And these are just uh, inch and a quarter uh, exterior screws. This is all I had left was a few three scrap pieces actually. So I decided to go ahead and put a bottom shelf on it. And you'll just see me notching out around the two befores here uh, just to get those two side pieces fit. And then I'm gonna rip that middle piece down to size and install it. Now the third piece is uh, cut to size. I just, same thing, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna countersink and drive those screws. So it's time to put our casters on our tool cart. I ordered these off of Amazon, they're like 16 bucks. They're a uh, ball bearing uh, design, 360 degree spin. They, they roll really easy. I've already used some of these on a, a lectern that I built for my wife for a classroom. These work great. And they're, they're just all around good casters for 16 bucks. So I highly recommend them. The only thing is I forgot 
that, uh, or I didn't think about the fact that these were wider. I thought they were gonna be about the same size as a two by four, and I could just screw into the bottom, but that was gonna be an end grain anyway. So what I wound up doing was just taking a two by four and a one by rip down uh, to a half inch. I could put this uh, piece across here. If you are building this at home, I recommend just let uh, this bottom rail here where your uh, bottom shelf is, just put it at an inch and a half below this and then you could just run a two by four across. You don't have to have that one by in there. But this is gonna give it more stability anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and mount these four uh, casters. Two of them have locks on them, and two of them, I think they have locks. Yeah, two of them have uh, locks so that you can lock it in place, and then two of them roll. So what I'll probably wind up doing is putting locks on one end and the rolls on the other. Uh, let's do that. Simple, simple, simple shop cart. This thing, if you're limited on space like I am, this is a two car garage. So this thing is uh, gonna come in extremely handy to keep this off the floor, help me move it around and I can move it and put it where I want it. I decided to put the lock, uh, locking casters on one side because it comes with two, it uh, doesn't come with four. My theory is I can lock the one side down and it won't uh, walk on me. If I put them on one end, I only locked one end down, then the other end will be able to move a little bit. So put them on that one side, it's working great. I've got them on this side, I can lock them both down. That'll keep everything from moving. Simple to make. Uh, took me about an hour and a half total time I've got in it. I mean, it's something fast you can throw, throw together. And this is all mostly scrap wood. This OSB I had was just scrap wood I had laying around at, that where I'd done my, my assembly tabletop. I had this left over. So I went ahead and used this and then a couple of two by fours and that's it. I mean, two by four screws and some OSB or plywood, your choice, whatever you want to use there uh, for your decking. It works great. I got a bottom shelf. I could put some more storage down there, which I'm going to totally use that. Uh, we can always use more storage in the shop, right? So something like this is so easy to make and uh, you can do it in a relatively short amount of time. Don't forget to check the description down below. I'll put the links to these casters down there as well as some other stuff you can check out. And share this on social media. It helps me out. Virtual fist bump if you do that. I can't tell you how much that helps me out and I appreciate it.